My name is Rick Haskell, and we're continuing our discussion on labor market marginality. In this section, we're going to take a look at the marginal revenue product of labor. Another way you can think about marginal revenue product of labor is the amount of a firm's revenue that comes about because of labor's productivity. So let's take a look at this. We begin with our equation on marginal product of labor, marginal product of labor being equal to a change in quantity divided by a change in labor. I've replicated the table that we put together based upon our little sandwich shop. And now we're going to think about the equation. So marginal revenue product of labor is going to be equal to the marginal product of labor times the price of the output good. Well, we identified earlier that the price of our sandwich is going to be constant at $5 a unit. So let's see how we build this table with the marginal revenue product of labor. So we'll just extend this out. We'll have P and we'll have MRP of L. And P is going to be constant at 5. So MRP of L then is going to multiply those such that we have a better understanding of our values here. So 15 times 5 is 75. 20 times 5 is 100, of course. 10 times 5 is 50. 5 times 5 at 25. 0 times 5 at 0. And negative 5 times 5 is negative 25. So you see that our marginal revenue product of labor rises slightly as we reach this apex of marginal product of labor and then declines till we get to a point where the marginal revenue product of labor is negative. That would suggest that production at or beyond that point is actually taking revenue away from us. It's not simply taking profit away from us. That's actually a slightly different metric. It's taking revenue away from us. We're going to find that just as in microeconomics, where we want to find marginal cost being able to marginal revenue, well, we can think of marginal revenue in this case as marginal revenue from the standpoint of labor's productivity or marginal revenue product of labor, and that's then going to equal for us some marginal cost of labor, most often referred to as marginal expense of labor. This becomes our profit maximizing condition. Marginal revenue product of labor being equal to the marginal expense of labor. And you'll see that is yet further thought of is marginal revenue product of labor being equal to the wage, which would suggest to us that at some point, some maximizing point, marginal expense of labor is equal to the margin or is equal to the wage and we'll talk about those in the upcoming segments on this topic